Hi. Okay, uh, everyone. So, uh, as promised, this is the video tutorial on how to model the wine glass and uh, yeah, the basic technique on how to model the wine glass. Once you know how to model this, I'm sure you can use your brain to model um, the flower vase. It's the same thing. So it's very easy. So how you you do it is like this. You start with a cylinder, as usual. Start with a cylinder, a very thin cylinder, just about this size. You can scale this down a bit. Then make sure in the you know, channel box here, you switch to move. And then what you do is you uh, zero out the value of x so that it slightly move at the center uh, also the z axis right that should be fine so then what you do is you change you go into the cylinder properties in here you zero the cap down and you don't need too much segment for this eight segment will do and there you go it's ready to start uh, to be you know for the extent so what you do now is we go to face mode make sure you go to face mode select the top part of the face and then you uh, use the make sure you're in the polygon mode here and I'll go to mesh under face extrude then you can either increase the thickness here all right or you can just pull the arrow here a bit and you can use the offset to scale it smaller all right okay something like that and then you can click outside now uh, what i want to do now is i want to go to edge mode and just double uh, hold control shift and just turn on the software here there is the software oh i don't have the software so um, just hold control shift and double click on this edge here uh, wait no, it doesn't want to work never mind so why do you just control shift and click all these edges around and then you scale it smaller so that it has that kind of curvy when it's going inwards then you go back to face and select the top face and continue with the extrusion so what you do now is still using the extrude button the extrude you go slightly above offset it smaller a bit then you press G again press G on your keyboard to extrude again you're going to be doing a lot of extrusion here I don't have the wine glass picture with me uh, now but I'm just showing you the technique but later try to make it as exactly as the same as the picture I've uh, given to you guys all right so I'm gonna bring it up to the neck somewhere around here then I press G I bring it up here a bit but I expand the offset all right then I press G again expand the offset press G Expand it. All right. Press. Wait. Um. Okay. Press G. I'm using a scale here, and I'm just resizing it. And I press G again. Go up. This time it's gonna go inside a bit. And the last one, G. You don't need too much. Just about about four three four times should do 
right then there you go but you see the proportion the upper body of the wine glass is too big and the leg is too small don't worry but you want to do it better change it now before you start to extrude it inwards to create the inside of the glass so what you do is you go to the four view uh, look at it's easier to change in the flat view here in the front view or the, the side view alright so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the front view so I'm gonna select uh, all the vertices up here and then I'm gonna use uh, scale to scale it smaller and bring it down all right and if you want to do further adjustment you can still adjust right it's not the end of the world all right you can still adjust this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a curve here so I'm gonna add more edges here so by going to the uh, mesh tools uh, going to the insert edge loop and insert one edge loop here and then switch to edge mode double click on one edges here you will select oh you will not select wonder what's wrong with that okay it's okay so I'm just gonna select the edges around here then just scale it make sure you scale oh, where? where am I right make sure you scale you put your mouse at the yellow box at the center here so that it will be uniformly scaled down then you have a bit of a curve going on there if you want a more thinner legs you can select the faces go to scale scale it to the center and then push scale it to the y-axis and there you go you can have it have the neck of the wine glass more thinner okay then once you're done you can also try to press number three on your keyboard see the smooth version it looks kind of funny but it's because it's not finished yet now let's go to the face mode and finish up the top part here so I need the help of the other view all right so in here I want to change this into the wireframe mode which is here become wireframe and this is the perspective view so I'm going to select the top part and use the extrude button again to extrude it so okay this time I want to create the thickness around it like I've showed you in class so just no don't increase the, the thickness up and down just the offset just push it inwards not outward inwards all right about this or this okay and then you extrude again so you can press the G key or click on this button again and then push this in and look at this the make sure that the edges touches the outside try to match the outside length and then increase the offset you can see this carefully here maintain this thickness of from the outside and the inside so press G again pull it downwards stop here you can also use scale and just scale it and then I press G again I push it down and um, scale again press R to scale that's the shortcut key for that and G again one last time up down here press R and make it small alright done there you go the wine glass press number 3 and it's finished alright uh, another thing that you want to take care of is the bottom part here when you press number 3 you see it is a bit s smooth it's not really flat so we want to sharpen that up one way you can do it is you can use face, select the bottom part and extrude it alright thickness offset, I mean the offset just put it inwards a bit like this make sure you have you know, more dense edges around it 
press G again then you just put one more for the deep inside alright then after that you can also add an insert edge loop and add the one edge nearer to the edge here not on top here we want to make the the bottom piece I mean the bottom edge is more sharper I mean now that when you press number three you see that it is sharp you have a sharp corner over there and you have your wine glass nicely displayed okay so one one last thing to finalize is to clean up your model uh, you can press number one again to review back to low poly so you see here these are all the history that we have done so we delete the history to clean it up by going to the edit edit delete by type history okay so this will clear everything and also go to modify and freeze transform this will trans freeze all the transformation here and last thing to do is to you know make this a high polygon object by applying the mesh smooth mesh smooth right see now you have more polygons and it's more smoother but it's not really too smooth so you have to go to into the, into the poly smooth face here and increase the division to about three then you have more polygons and smoother objects all right and if you render this out you have a higher resolution version of this if in a way you want to reduce the low poly again you want to adjust that you can reduce this back to zero to become the low poly then you can do further adjustment if you want to do adjustment all right so what i'm doing now is uh this, is, this model is all already final finalized already and yeah that's how you model the wine glass okay thank you for watching